yogadownload.com. Take yoga anywhere. Welcome to Yoga Downloads Intro to Yoga Number One. My name is Jamie and I'll be your guide. This is an introductory yoga class designed for those with very little or no experience with yoga. This class will introduce you to some common poses done in most yoga classes and will focus on proper alignment. Today, our focus will be on the physical practice of yoga, which includes yoga poses called asanas, as well as yoga breathing techniques called pranayama. Let's begin. Come to a comfortable cross-legged seated position on your mat. Bring your hands to your knees and turn your palms to face the sky. Be sure that your shoulders are directly over your hips and sit up tall. Squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you, opening through the chest. Lift your heart center towards the sky. Telescope the vertebrae and ribs, creating space in between each one, growing an inch or so into the space above the crown of your head. Tuck your chin slightly and breathe. Close the eyes. Let's take some slow, deep, steady breaths together. Inhale through the nose, filling the lungs completely. Feel your ribcage expand on all sides. Now exhale, slow and steady, letting everything out. Inhale, fill the lungs completely, getting your breath into the lowest part of the lungs. Now exhale, letting all of the air out. Inhale again, fill the lungs. Exhale through the nose, emptying everything out. One more time, inhale, breathe in through the nose, fill the lungs. Exhale, empty every last bit of air out. Good. Now breathe normally. Remember the foundation of this pose and this long spine through this practice. Now open your eyes and look at the picture for child's pose. Looking at this picture, let's go over the foundation of this pose. Your knees will be spread wide out to the outer edges of your mat. Your big toes will come to touch behind you. You'll sink your hips down into your heels and then walk your arms forward, bringing your forehead to touch the mat. Let's move into the pose together. Come to all fours into a tabletop position. Now spread your knees wide to the outer edges of your mat and bring your big toes to touch. Press your hips down into your heels. Walk your arms straight out in front of you. Bring your forehead to touch the mat. Good. Feel your spine lengthening here. Really press your hips down into your heels. It's okay if your hips don't make contact with your heels here, but keep driving them backward. Now walk your fingertips forward one more inch. Let's continue with our deep breathing here. Take long, slow, deep, steady breaths in and out of the nose. Let's take a few deep cleansing breaths together. Take an inhale through the nose. Expand the rib cage. Exhale, letting everything out. Inhale. Fill the lungs. Exhale, let it go. One of the main points of yoga is to teach yourself to stay in the present moment. Let go of your thoughts of the past and the future and just be right here, right now. To do this, focus only on your inhales and exhales. Now press up to a tabletop position, press your hips back, coming to a seated position, and let's look over the next poses. The next poses are cow and cat poses, which will be a series of arching and rounding the back. The first pose, cow pose, will start out in a tabletop position, and you'll look up towards the sky and tilt your tailbone towards the sky. And then cat pose will be the opposite, rounding the spine, tucking the chin, and tucking the tailbone towards the ground. Let's try this pose together. 
come into a tabletop position. Be sure that your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders and that your knees are directly under your hips. So your knees are spread hip width apart. Your feet come out directly behind your knees. The tops of your feet are pressing into the ground and your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Press your palms into the earth and spread your fingers wide. Good, now let's move into cow pose. Drop your belly towards the earth, tilt your head up towards the sky, looking up towards the sky, and tilt your tailbone towards the sky, arching the back, cow pose. Now exhale, tilt your tailbone down towards the ground, tuck your chin and round your spine up towards the sky. Good, inhale, come back into cow pose. Look up, tilt the tailbone high, open through your chest, roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale, cat. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, and round the spine. Inhale, cow. Look up, tilt the tailbone high, open through your chest. Exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tail, round the spine. Really press up through your low and mid spine, pressing it towards the sky. Inhale, cow pose. Look up. Exhale, tuck the chin, cat. Rounding the spine. Three more times. Inhale, cow. Look up, tilt the tailbone high. Exhale, cat. Tuck the chin, tuck the tail round. Inhale, cow. Look up. Exhale, cat. Tuck the chin. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to a tabletop neutral position. Press your hips back, coming to a seated position, and look at the picture for spinal balance. What we're going to do in this pose is first come to a tabletop position, and then we're going to reach our arm forward while reaching the opposite leg back, balancing out the spine. Let's move into this pose together. Come into a tabletop position. Remember your foundation, knees directly under hips, wrist directly under shoulders. Now inhale, reach your right arm forward and reach your left leg straight back. Drop the left hip slightly, keeping the hips square to the ground. Really reach forward through your right fingertips and reach back through those left toes. Feel as though someone is pulling forward on your wrist and back on your ankle. Good, come back to a tabletop position. Other side, inhale, send your left arm forward and your right leg straight back. Make sure that your hips are square. You might need to drop that right hip down a little. Reach forward through your fingertips. Reach back through your toes. Feel as though someone is trying to pull you in half. Exhale and release. Come back to a tabletop position. Let's do that one more time on each side. Send the right arm forward and the left leg back. Reach. Lengthen. Feel the length in your body. Feel the length in your spine. Release. Come back to tabletop position. Left arm forward. Right leg straight back. Really lift through that back leg. Reach through the arm. Feel the length in your body. Release. Come back to a tabletop position. Good work. Now press your hips back into your heels. Come to a seated position. Looking at our next pose, which is downward facing dog. The quintessential yoga pose. Looking at the picture, let's walk through the foundation of this pose. When we come into this pose, your body is going to look like an upside down V. You're going to be driving down through your heels and pressing your chest back towards your legs, planting your palms firmly into the ground and lifting through the tailbone. Take a good look at the picture and make sure you have a good understanding of this pose before we move into it. Now let's come back to our tabletop position and set up the foundation for this pose. Spread your fingers wide and bring your index finger to point straight forward. Turn the eyes of your elbows, the creases of your elbows, in towards each other. Now when you're ready, tuck your toes under and lift your hips high to the sky, pressing back into downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent here if you're tight through the hamstrings so that you maintain a long spine. Your stance should be wide, but not too wide, so if you need to, walk your feet in a little bit. If you're holding a lot of weight in your shoulders, drive your hips back 
Drive your chest back towards your legs as you drive your heels down into the earth. Feel a nice length through the spine here. Good work. Drop to your knees and come back to a tabletop position. Down dog can be a tough pose for beginning yoga students as a lot of students tend to carry the weight in their shoulders. Really work on driving your weight back into your hips and down through the heels in this pose. We'll come back to down dog again and work on deepening the posture. Press your hips back into your heels. Take a look at the pictures for the next series of poses. Looking at this next page, you'll see a series of six poses. We're going to move through these poses one after the other, so let's take a look at all six before we move into them. The first pose is Ragdoll. It's basically a forward fold, and your hands will be grabbing on to opposite elbows. Next pose is Chest Expansion. We'll be interlacing our hands behind our back, and then drawing our hands up and over our head towards the ground in front of us. The next pose is Samastahiti. It's a basic standing posture in yoga that is very active, pressing the hands together in prayer at the heart center. The next pose is Mountain Pose, Tadasana. It's the same as Samastihiti, but with our arms reaching straight above our heads towards the sky. Next, you'll see Standing Side Stretch. We'll grab onto one of our wrists and then bend to the side, feeling a nice stretch to the side of our body. And then finally, the last pose is a forward bend, just hinging from the waist and drawing our crown towards the ground. Okay, let's move into the first pose, which is Ragdoll. Walk to the top of your mat, come to a standing position, and then hinge forward from the waist, coming into a forward fold, bringing the crown of your head towards the ground. Grab on to opposite biceps with your hands and just hang here. Feel a nice release through your lower back. Soften the belly and let the crown of your head just fall towards the ground. Feel the weight of gravity pulling the crown of your head closer and closer to the earth. Gently roll your weight into the balls of your feet, feeling a nice stretch down the backs of your legs. Your hamstrings and your calves should be feeling nice and open here. Just hang. Now gently sway your torso from side to side like an elephant's trunk, further opening the lower back. Good. Now we're going to move into chest expansion. Reach back behind you and interlace your hands behind your low back. Now inhale and draw your hands forward towards the sky, feeling a nice opening through the shoulders here. Press your palms together for a different stretch through the shoulders. Keep drawing the crown of your head towards the earth and reaching your arms up over your head. Good. Now release your hands to your mat. Tuck the tailbone and slowly and gently roll up to standing one vertebra at a time. Your head should come up last. Roll your shoulders back and down. Toe heel your feet together, bringing your toes and heels to touch. Now bring your hands to prayer at your heart center, your thumbs pointing toward your heart. This is called Samastahiti. Let's work on the foundation of this pose. Ground down through all four corners of your feet. Tuck the tailbone under slightly, drawing your belly and your lower rib cage in. Now press the shoulders down away from your ears and squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you, opening through the chest. Lift through the crown of your head so that the crown of your head is reaching up while your feet are driving down into the earth. Close your eyes here and let's take a few cleansing breaths together. Take a deep inhale. Fill your lungs, exhale, let it out. Inhale, fill the lungs, exhale, let it all go. One more, inhale, exhale. Good, now inhale, reach your arms high above your head, coming into Mountain Pose Tadasana. Your hands are shoulder width apart and your fingers are spread wide. Really reach up through your fingertips but keep your shoulders pressing down away from your ears. Keep the same foundation as the pose before. Ground down through your feet. Tuck your tailbone. Squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. Lift through the crown of your head. 
Good. Now take your right hand and grab onto your left wrist. Inhale, reach up and lift up. And on your exhale, bend to the right side. Come into standing side stretch. Bending to the side. Bring your weight to the outer edge of your left foot. Press your left hip out. Really lean to the side, feeling a nice opening through the left side of your body. Pull up and over with your wrists, further deepening the stretch through your side. Good. Inhale. Come back to center. Switch your grip. Take your left hand and grab your right wrist. Inhale. Lengthen. And on your exhale, come into standing side stretch on the other side. Bring your weight into the outer edge of your right foot. Gently press your right hip out and lean to the side as much as you can, feeling a nice opening through the side of your body here. Lengthen on your inhales. And on your exhales, come a little bit deeper into the side stretch. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Mountain Pose Tadasana. Let your hands come apart. Palms face each other. Reach towards the sky. Take an inhale here. Exhale, swan dive forward with a straight spine coming into a forward fold. Just hang here. Let your hands fall to the mat and draw your crown towards the ground. Feel the difference here from your first forward bend. You should feel a little bit more open through your spine and through the backs of your legs. Now pedal your feet out a little bit, bending one knee while pressing one opposite heel into the ground and then bending the other knee while driving the opposite heel into the ground. Good. Exhale everything out here. Now inhale, roll up to standing. Tuck your tailbone. Gently roll up one vertebra at a time. Roll your shoulders back and down. And breathe. Nice work. Now come to your mat and take a look at the pictures for the next series of poses. The first pose is down dog with leg high. Next, we're going to sweep our leg through our body and plant our foot between our hands, coming into a low lunge. Look at the foundation of this pose here. The front knee is directly over the front ankle, and the back leg is straight and strong with the heel driving backward. There's a long line from the crown of the head down through the heel. The next pose we're going to do is a hip stretch where we'll drop the back knee to the earth, press our hips to the ground, driving our knee forward. Finally, we'll come into splits preparation pose, dropping our hips back and straightening our front leg. Now when you're ready, come onto all fours to a tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide, bring your index finger to point forward, turn the eyes of your elbows in towards each other, tuck the toes and press back into downward facing dog. Revisiting this pose here. Let's go through our checklist. Tilt the tailbone towards the sky, drive the heels down into the earth, bend your knees if you need to so that you can maintain a straight spine. Bring your weight out of your shoulders and back into your hips and then down through your heels. Keep a long spine, relax the neck, your head should fall between your arms. Relax the shoulders down away from your ears. Good, now when you're ready, inhale and lift your right leg high to the sky. Good. Keep lifting. Now exhale, sweep the leg through and plant your right foot between your thumbs. If you need to, take a moment to scoot the right foot forward so that your heel is directly under your knee. Now press the left heel down and back so that you can straighten the left leg coming into a low lunge. Your hands are on either side of your right foot. Lengthen through your spine. Draw your left hip forward and press your right hip back, squaring your hips to the front of your mat. This is low lunge pose. Good. Moving on to hip stretch pose. Drop your left knee to the mat and flip your foot over so that your top of your left foot is making contact with the mat. Now, bring your hands and place them on top of the right knee. Draw your right knee forward and sink your hips down low towards the earth, feeling a nice stretch and opening through your left hip here. Keep driving your hips down towards the mat. Keep breathing.
Good. Now plant your palms on the mat on either side of your foot. Keep your left knee on the ground and straighten the right leg. Straighten the right leg so that your hips are directly over your left knee. Now draw your nose towards the right knee, feeling a nice stretch and opening down the back of the right leg. Flex the right foot, draw your toes back towards your body. This pose is called splits preparation because this is the pose that you would do before going into the splits. We're probably not ready for that today, but someday. Very good. Now let's come back to a neutral tabletop position. Shoulders directly over wrists, hips directly over knees, lower legs coming straight out from the knees. Good, now we're going to move on through that same series on the left side. When you're ready, tuck your toes under and press your hips high coming into downward facing dog. Let's go through our checklist again. Fingertips and toes are directly forward. Your hands are shoulder width apart. Your feet are hip width apart. Tilt your tailbone towards the sky. Drive your heels down into the mat. Lengthen through your spine. Bend your knees if you need to to keep the spine straight and long. Now inhale, lift your left leg high to the sky. Drive down through that right heel here. Keep lifting. Now exhale, sweep the leg through, planting your foot between your thumbs. It's okay if you need to take a few steps with that left foot to get it in between those thumbs. Just make sure that your heel ends up directly underneath that left knee. When you're ready, drive that right heel back and down, straightening the right leg, coming into low lunge. Create one long line from the crown of your head down through your right heel. Good. Now drop your right knee towards the mat. Flip the toes so that the top of your right foot makes contact with the earth. Bring your hands on top of the left knee and sink your hips down towards the earth, drawing the left knee forward, coming into hip stretch. Really drive those hips down towards the earth, feeling a nice opening through your hips. Keep your torso long and tall, keeping the shoulders directly over the hips. Sink down a little bit lower. Good. Now plant your palms onto the mat, straighten the left leg, and bring your nose towards your knee. Your hips should be directly over that right knee. Your left leg is straight, your left toes are flexed, drawing the toes back towards the body. You should feel a nice opening through the back of the left leg here. Good. When you're ready, come back to tabletop position. Press your hips back into your heels and take a look at the pictures for the next series of poses. First pose is crescent lunge. You'll notice that this pose is very similar to low lunge that we just worked on, but your torso will be straight up and your arms will be reaching towards the sky like mountain pose, Tadasana. Then we're going to move into warrior two. We'll blossom open, squaring our hips and shoulders to the side reaching our arms forward and back. Next, we'll turn our forward toes in and come into a standing straddle stretch. 
The legs will be wide and will come into a forward fold, further opening the backs of the legs and lengthening through the spine. Finally, we'll move into pyramid pose. Our hips and shoulders will be squared to the front. There'll be about three feet of distance between our feet. We'll bring our nose to touch our knee or as close as we can get. Okay, when you're ready, come back to your tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide. Roll the eyes of your elbows, the crease of your elbows in towards each other. Tuck your toes under and press your hips high, coming to downward facing dog. To get into crescent lunge, we're going to inhale our leg high, move into low lunge, and then move into crescent lunge. Inhale your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, walk your right foot forward so that it's planted between your thumbs. Make sure that that right knee is directly over the right heel. And when you're ready, straighten the back leg and lift your torso and arms towards the sky, coming into crescent lunge. Drive back and down through that left heel. Lift your arms high to the sky. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Sink down low into your hips. Draw your left hip forward and your right hip back, squaring your hips to the front of the mat. Good. Inhale here. Now exhale. Blossom your arms open front and back, squaring your hips and shoulders to the side of your mat, coming into warrior two. Drop the left foot flat, but bring the left toes to point in so that the toes are pointing in and the heel is facing out. Good. Reach forward through your right hand, reach back through your left hand. Keep your shoulders directly over your hips here. Look down at your feet. Make sure the back of your right heel is in line with the arch of your left foot. The toes of your left foot are pointing in slightly and your right toes are pointing directly forward. Square your hips and shoulders to the side. Sink down low into your hips. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Straighten the right leg. Turn your right toes in so that both of your toes are pointing in and your heels are facing out. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale. Tilt your head back. Open your chest, reach your heart center towards the sky, and exhale, hinge forward from the waist, coming into a forward fold. Prasarita Podatanasana. Standing straddle stretch. Grab on to the outside of your shins, ankles, or feet, or wherever you can reach, and use the strength of your biceps to pull your crown down closer towards the earth. Keep breathing. Lengthen through your spine on the inhale, telescope the vertebrae, telescope the ribs, and then come deeper into your fold on your exhale. Soften the belly, let the low back release. Ground down through the outer edges of your feet. Breathe. Inhale, bring your hands to your hips. Now keeping a straight spine, bring your torso back up to standing. Pivot on your heels and turn your toes towards the front of your mat. Walk your left foot in a little bit so that there's about three feet of distance between your feet. Now turn your left toes out to a 30 degree angle and keep your right toes pointing straight forward. With your hands on your hips, draw your right hip back slightly, squaring your hips to the front of your mat. Now inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold forward from the waist, bringing your hands to the mat on either side of your front foot. Try to draw your nose to your knee, or come as far into this forward fold as is comfortable for you. Keep drawing that right hip back, keeping the hips square. Ground down through the feet. Feel a nice opening through the backs of your legs. Pyramid pose.
Good. Now, when you're ready, plant your palms. Step your right foot back, coming into downward facing dog. You might need to widen your stance a little bit here. Walk your feet back or walk your hands forward. Let's go through our checklist. Tilt your tailbone towards the sky and press your hips back, driving your heels down into the ground. Lengthen through your spine. Relax the neck. Press your shoulders down away from your ears. Now we're going to move through that same series on the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, sweep the leg through and walk your left foot forward so that it's between your thumbs. Now when you're ready, drive the right heel back and down, straighten the right leg and lift your torso to a standing position. Reaching your arms high above your head, coming to crescent lunge. Drive down through that back heel. Make sure the left knee is directly over the left ankle. Sink low into your hips. Reach high through your arms. Press your shoulders down away from your ears. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Square your shoulders and your hips to the side. Ground down through the right foot, but make sure that the toes are pointing in slightly. Reach your arms forward and back. Sink down low into that front knee. Look down at your feet and make sure that the back of your left heel is in line with the arch of your right foot. Be sure that your right toes are pointing in slightly and that your left toes are pointing straight forward. Draw that left knee forward, sinking down low into your hips. Be sure that your shoulders are stacked directly over your hips. Good. Release. Straighten the left leg and turn the left toes in so that your toes are facing in and your heels are facing out. Reach back and interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, look up, open your chest. Exhale, hinge from the hips coming into a forward fold, keeping your hands interlaced and bringing your hands up over your head. Good. Ground down through the outer edges of your feet. Gently roll your weight into the balls of your feet so you can get a deeper stretch through the back of your legs. Press your palms together. And keep drawing your arms up and over your head towards the earth in front of you. On your inhales, lengthen through the spine. On your exhales, come deeper into your fold. Breathe. Now inhale, keeping a straight spine, keeping your hands interlaced and come back up to standing. Bring your hands to your hips. Pivot on your feet towards the front of your mat so that your toes are facing forward. Now step your right foot in so that there's about three feet distance between your feet. Turn your right toes out to a 30 degree angle. Keep your left toes facing straight forward. Now with your hands on your hips, draw your left hip back slightly squaring your hips towards the front of your mat. Now inhale, lengthen through the spine, grow through the crown of your head. Exhale, fold forward. Let your hands fall to either side of your left foot and bring your nose to touch your knee or come as far forward as is comfortable for you today. Keep your deep breathing here. Lengthen on the inhales, come deeper on your exhales. Remember that our yoga practice is a journey. You might only come so far into your forward folds today, but each and every time you come back to this practice, you'll be able to come deeper into your poses. When you're ready, plant your palms into the earth. Step your left leg back, coming back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet back or your hands forward so that your stance is wide enough. Good, drop to your knees, coming to a tabletop position. Press your hips to your heels. 
Let's look over these pictures here to get the foundations of the poses. The first pose is plank pose. You're going to look like a flat board from the side. This is a high push-up position. Your shoulders are directly over your wrists. Your heels are driving back and down. Your head is reaching forward. And there's a long line from the crown of your head down through the back of your heels. You're really pressing your palms into the earth here. The next pose we're going to do is cobra pose. We're going to lower down all the way onto our bellies. Bring our hands directly under our shoulders and then lift our chest up from the mat. Notice how her legs are squeezing together and her toes are driving into the earth. The next pose is locust pose. There's two versions shown here. One where just the chest is lifting, the hands are interlaced behind the back and reaching back towards the back of the mat, and the second pose where both the chest and the legs are lifting from the mat. All of these poses will help to strengthen and lengthen the spine. Let's move into the first pose, plank pose. Come into a tabletop position, bring your shoulders to come directly over your wrists, and then walk your feet back, coming into high plank. Drive back through your heels, your feet are hip width distance apart. Make sure that your bottom is not coming up or sinking down too low. Press the earth away from you, press into your palms, bring your shoulders down away from your ears. Have a long line from the crown of your head down through your heels. Good, take an inhale here. Exhale slowly and carefully, lower yourself down all the way onto your belly. Now bring your palms directly underneath your shoulders. Your thumbs are facing in towards your body. Now squeeze your legs together. You have one leg, zip your legs up. Your heels are touching, your knees are touching, your thighs are squeezing together. Now make sure you're pressing all 10 toes deep into the earth. Pay particular attention to your pinky toe, making sure that it's pressing down into your mat. Good, now when you're ready, on an inhale, lift your chest off the mat and bring your crown towards the sky. There's no weight in your hands here. Your lift is coming from driving your hips into the ground and driving all ten toes deep into the earth. Be careful you're not squeezing your buttocks. Keep your buttocks relaxed and keep lifting through your chest. Good, release, bring your chin to the earth. Bring your arms to your sides with your palms facing up and look right, bring your left ear to your mat. Second set, bring your chin back to the mat. Bring your palms directly underneath your shoulders. Zip your legs up. Now inhale, lift your hands one inch off the mat and then peel your chest off the mat, lifting your crown towards the sky. Press all 10 toes into the earth. Lift up, keep lifting, and release. Bring your arms to your sides, palms face up, look in the opposite direction, bring your right ear to the mat. Moving into locust pose, reach back and interlace your hands behind you. Bring your chin back to the mat. Zip your legs up, you have one leg, squeeze your thighs, your calves, and your heels together. Press all ten toes into the earth, and on an inhale, lift your chest off the mat, reaching your hands back towards your heels. Press your palms together, really open through your shoulders. Your gaze is about six inches in front of you. Exhale, release. Look the opposite direction, bring your left ear to the mat, bring your arms to your sides, palms facing up. Second set. This time we're going to lift both our chest and our legs. Bring your chin back to the mat. Reach back and interlace your hands behind you. Now inhale, lift your chest and your legs high off of your mat, as high as you can. Really reach your hands up and back, drawing your hands towards your heels. Open through the chest, lift up. Keep lifting and release. Bring your arms to your sides, palms face up, look in the opposite direction, right ear to the mat. Nice work. All of those poses are excellent spine strengthening poses and will help to strengthen the spine. When you're ready, press up to a tabletop position. Press your hips onto your heels. 
take a look at the pictures for the next series of poses. The first pose is called seated forward folds. We're going to have our legs straight out in front of us, toes flexed. We're going to keep a long straight spine and then we're going to fold forward. The next pose is plow pose. We're going to roll onto our backs and bring our legs up over our head, bringing our hips directly over our shoulders and using our hands to support our low back. Take a good look at this picture and look at the foundation of this pose. Next will be dead bugs pose. We're going to roll back down to flat on our back. We're going to grab onto the inside arches of our feet and then draw our knees on either side of our chest using the strength of our biceps to draw the knees closer to the earth. Next will be spinal twist. We're going to draw our knee over to one side of our body as our arm and gaze look over to the opposite side creating a nice twist and rinse through the spine. Our last and final pose is corpse pose, sweet shavasana. This is the most important pose of the entire practice. While it looks simple, it actually is very challenging to keep your mind focused on your breath and quiet the chatter of your mind. Okay, let's move into the first pose, seated forward bend. Drop your hips to one side and bring your legs straight out in front of you. Flex your feet, drawing your toes back towards your body. Now bring your hands on either side of your hips and use that as leverage to create a very straight spine. Lift up through the crown of your head, roll your shoulders back and down, draw your heart center forward. Now inhale, bring your arms high up over your head. Exhale, come into a forward bend. Bend your knees here if you need to so that you can keep a flat spine. You want to draw your chest and your heart center forward instead of your head. This will help you to maintain that long, straight spine. Feeling a nice release in the low back and a nice stretch down your hamstrings and calves and through the back of your legs. Keep breathing here. Take care to not lose your breath, taking deep inhales and exhales. Control the breath. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the nose. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Telescope the vertebrae. Telescope the ribs. Exhale, come a little bit deeper into your forward fold. Keep pulling back on those toes, drawing them back towards your body. with the ground, turn your palms towards the sky, now tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin and gently roll down one vertebrae at a time, coming down into a lying position on your mat. Moving into plow pose, lift your legs up and start to bring your legs up over your head like you're going to do a backwards somersault. Place your palms on your low back and use your hands to help drive your legs up over your head. Bring the balls of your feet to touch the ground behind you if you can. It's okay if you're not here yet. Look straight up only in this pose to protect the neck. Scoot your shoulders underneath you so that you're creating a shelf for your neck. Now keep trying to draw your hips so that they're directly above your shoulders. You should feel a nice stretch down the spine here. Keep walking your hands down your back and lifting your hips towards the sky. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe into any tight spots and let your breath open the tightness. Good. Now gently and slowly come out of the pose. Roll your spine one vertebrae at a time. 
Tell your hips come to touch the mat and then bring your legs down straight out in front of you. Now draw your knees into your chest, preparing for dead bugs pose. Reach in between your legs and grab the arches of your feet. Now bring your ankles over your knees and drive your knees on either side of your chest down towards the earth. Use the strength of your biceps to gently pull your knees down even further. Iron out your spine here. Really press your lower back, your tailbone into the earth and slightly tuck your chin so that the back of your neck is long. Ironing out the spine. Keep breathing. Release. Bring your legs back down in front of you, coming back to a lying position. Now inhale, bring your right knee into your chest. On an exhale, use your left hand to draw the right knee over to the left. Bring your right arm out to the side and your gaze to the right. Now keep both shoulder blades planted onto the ground. If you need to come out of your twist a little bit, that's fine. The most important part of this posture is keeping both shoulder blades flat onto the ground. Feel a nice twisting through the spine here, rinsing the spine, getting rid of toxins. Keep your left leg straight down in front of you, and you're going to come up onto the side of your left hip here. Keep pressing both shoulder blades into the ground as you draw your right knee closer and closer to the ground on the other side. Breathe. Come back to center. Bring your right leg straight down in front of you. Now inhale, bring your left knee into your chest for spinal twists on the other side. Use your right hand to draw the left knee across the body and over to the right, keeping both shoulder blades planted onto the ground. Bring your left arm straight out to the side with the palm down and look left. Come up onto the side of your right hip. Lengthen through your spine on your inhales. Come deeper into your twist on your exhales.
Good. Release. Come back to center. Bring your left leg down in front of you. Coming into our final pose, corpse pose, Shavasana. Bring your arms to your sides, your palms facing up. Let your feet fall open and completely surrender. Close your eyes and soak in the benefits from your yoga practice. Feel the vibrations that we've created running through your body. Let your breath be soft. Keep your mind free of any thought. Let the earth take all of your weight. Surrender. Let go.
you're ready, sweep your right arm high above your head, bend your knees, and roll over onto your right side, coming into a supported fetal position so that your head is resting on your upper right arm. Keep your eyes closed and continue to breathe. And when you're ready, keeping the eyes closed, press your left palm into the earth, pressing up into a comfortable seated position facing the front of your mat. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to prayer at your heart center so that your thumbs point towards your heart. Sit up tall, lengthen through the crown of your head. Let's take one last deep cleansing breath here. Inhale, fill the lungs. Open your mouth, exhale, let it all go. Now inhale, bring your thumbs to your third eye center so that your thumbs are touching the middle of your forehead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, bow forward. Honoring the teacher in all things, because we have something to learn from everyone and everything. Namaste.